the images on your site is the probable reason why your website is actually very slow. Most people, what they do is either take their smartphone and click pictures or just go to stock websites and download images. Let me show you. So here's a popular website called unsplash.com and you can download a bunch of images from here. There are images for nature and let's say t-shirts, models, everything else available. Now, regardless if you take pictures on this website or you take them from your phone, they are going to be gigantic in size. So just for this example, what I did was just download a bunch of images here and just look at these sizes. Look at this, six megabytes, 876 kilobytes, 1,392 kilobytes, which is almost 1.1 megabytes, 399 or 299 kilobytes, this is my small one, and then 5.7 megabytes. These are gigantic sizes. And you might think a megabyte isn't that huge, right? We all have great internet connections nowadays. Think about this. If thousand people visit your website, that is one gigabyte of extra bandwidth for your website per image, per image. Think about that. So what you need to start doing is compress the images before you upload them to your site. Let me show you how. I just made a simple Google search, online image resizer, and you can see a bunch of them out there. And you can use any one of them out there. It doesn't have to be a very uh, specific one. You can see there's a line or list of them. You can just keep going and you'll find tons of them out there. And you don't have to pay them. Most of them, I say 99% of them are completely free. One side of doing this is that you'll have to do this for every single image that you upload to your site, no exceptions. And problem is that if you already have hundreds of images on your site, then you will have to do it manually one by one, download the image, compress it, go back, replace it. It's a whole nightmare. Let me tell you an easier solution. If your website is built on WordPress, then you can install this plugin called EWWW Image Optimizer. And this does all the same things I just mentioned to you, but does it automatically. Once you do install this plugin, there are a couple of settings you'll need to configure. Nothing specific, but yeah, just the resolution you want to have and the level of compression you want to have. But the benefit is that once you do it, everything else is taken care of. All the images that you upload next or later after once you install this will automatically compress and also resize to the appropriate size. So you're not wasting any bandwidth or like space on your website. And also, you can also run bulk actions on images that are previously uploaded. So if you just click a couple of buttons going in the gallery, what this plugin will do is go to all the images that are uploaded and compress them for you and also convert it into the latest versions of images. For example, if you have JPG, it might convert to the WebP, which is a more that's a recognized format, which also saves space. So all of that will be done automatically for you. You don't have to do anything else. And by the way, I've done a complete video about how to use this plugin, all the settings. It's a little longer video. So if you're interested in that, there might be a link on the screen if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're on any other platform, just comment the word image and I'll reply with the link and just copy paste in your browser and you can go watch that video. All right, follow for more website tips.